What is up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. We are back in Medford. I am running out, I'm putting my shoes on in the car, but I'm running out to get my hair done. I'm actually meeting my friend for lunch really fast before, and then I'm getting my hair touched up. It's been over a year since I've gotten my hair done. I know that's kind of like crazy to say. I'm like kind of embarrassed by that, but the last time I got my hair cut or colored was last September, and it's now the middle of October, so definitely much needed and i'm excited to get a little switch up i'm honestly pretty much doing the same thing i just want the color brought up just a little bit but i'm gonna be vlogging the whole weekend while i'm here of course i love vlogging when i'm home honestly just to be able to look back <laughs> and watch these videos again i love being with my family i love doing things with them so i really like documenting it and i hope you guys enjoy i do a lot more fun things when i'm home in medford rather than when i live like in Virginia, we don't do as much as like normal life. So I feel like these are a little bit more fun to watch. So I will be bringing you along our whole weekend and yeah, so let's get right on into it. I'm just going to grab pizza with my girlfriend right now and then getting my hair done. So I'll see you in a little. So I just got home from getting my hair done and I asked for the really dark root look still like kind of most of my <laughs> top range to be dark because i think it looks it makes my face look a little skinnier so i like having like a lot darker uh like up here and more of like a balayage type thing so i just got the front little piece blonde and dog is barking at me <laughs> i think it looks really nice and going into the winter i didn't want to be too blonde so i will just have to touch it up before the wedding but I really like it, so I'm happy. I also forgot to mention, but I got angles around the face and long layers. And I cut quite a bit of length off. My hair was like pretty much down my belly button before. So this feels like a bob to me, even though it's still long hair. It just feels very, very short. But it is healthy now. Hopefully it's easier to brush for me because if you guys have been around for any amount of time, you know how hard it's been for me to brush my hair out. So. Hopefully this will help, but it looks so healthy and nice. And yeah, this is probably the last haircut before the wedding. I might get a little trim like a few months out, but she did say to not cut your hair right before the wedding and it's better to like style with more dead hair. So definitely, I might not even get my hair cut again, but if I do, it'll be like a few months out from the wedding, but I'm really liking the color. It's like kind of what I had before, just a little bit of a touched up version. Also, if you didn't see my, my work week in my life vlog, um, I put these nails on. I ended the vlog yesterday, but um, it'll be up a few weeks before this one is. I did these press on nails and I was gonna tell you how I felt about them and I really love them. And <laughs> I've gotten three compliments on these nails already. And I'm like, they are freaking Whoa, I would just scratch myself. Um, but they are press on nails and I've gotten so many compliments on them. It's just so funny to me, but I'm really, really digging these. Um, yeah, they've been staying on super well. They feel secure, they feel good. I can't believe I just did that to my neck, oh my God. Gotta let me know what you think of the hair. It's very subtle difference, honestly, but I like it. Um, but we are heading to my grandparents right now with my dad. Um, just gonna go say hi to them, see them for a little bit. Hi, Fred. Do you want to say hi to the YouTube? Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, I know. Oh my God. So what are you doing? <laughs> what? Let's surprise me with pop up. So that last clip you saw was my brother surprising us when we walked in the door for my grandparents. He is at college at, um, where the hell did he go? JMU. <laughs> JMU, James Madison um, in Virginia. And we haven't seen him since we dropped him off at college in August. And I guess he planned a little trip home without us knowing. And we walked in from my grandparents and we were like shocked. Like we were both standing there like, what in the world is going on? 
but we are very excited to have him home for the weekend. Um, but my parents and I are just going to dinner. He's going to see one of his friends right now. So we're going to dinner and I kept on this flannel that I was wearing all day. Little white tank and my Abercrombie jeans. But yeah, we are heading to dinner, still trying to decide where to go, but it was very exciting to see him. Um, I'm also actually going to see him next weekend. Uh, next weekend, Matt and I are going, one second, let me try to prop you up. Next weekend, Matt and I are actually going down to Tech. Um, so we were gonna stop and see him on our way. So I was expecting to see him next weekend and the next weekend he's coming back home too, um, cause it's his fall break, I guess. Um, so I'll be seeing him the next few weekends, but we weren't expecting this for sure. Okay, so I got ready in like 30 seconds and we're going to dinner. I will let you know when we get there. I wanna show you this little bag that I got from Amazon. It's supposed to be like a little Bottega dupe. It's It was only $15 on Amazon and it's decently cute. It's very, very cheap, <laughs> but I still kind of like it. Um, I'll link it below if you guys are interested. Warning, it does smell very funky and I can't get rid of the smell yet, but um, it is a cute bag. I actually saw um, Makeup by Kelly Ann post about it and then it's been in my car for so long, but <laughs> it was just like not ready to, uh, to pull the trigger on it. But after I saw she posted about it, I just decided to buy it. And it's decently cute, but um, it smells like I said. So if you can get past that and I mean, might as well check it out if you like it and possibly want the Bottega bag, but don't want to spend a few thousand dollars on it. It is fairly cute and it's so large. Like I, f I can fit so much in here. We just got to P.F. Chang's. Haven't been here in ages. So I am pretty excited. I got crispy chicken. Mama got beef and broccoli. She's already like mixing it up. <laughs> and dad got, what'd you get, ginger chicken? Ginger. Ginger chicken with broccoli. And we got wonton soup and ate that like way too fast. Much wealth lies ahead. We just got home from dinner. It was very yummy. But now I, I can't stop playing with my hair. Are you guys like that after you get your hair done? I'm just like constantly touching it. It is pretty late now. I'm just going to put on my little comfy from Costco and probably go downstairs and like chill with my family, relax, watch TV, all that kind of stuff. And then probably just hit the hay and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hi, Boatwagger. Hi. Hi, Boatwagger. Look how happy. Thank you. Thank you for the sock. It's so cute. Good morning. Happy Saturday. It is a nice fall morning. It's very like cloudy and gloomy out. So we, we kind of just like hung out in the house for a little bit, but we are going to grab coffee now. My salted caramel latte. I think this is the only drink I get when I'm home. It's so good. Um, and I'm not much of like a coffee coffee drinker. So lattes are like my go-to. I love them. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> Mom does not like being on camera very no, much. But we are heading to lunch, meeting my grandparents um, at Seasons 52. And they do not know that Ryan is home. So we're going to be surprising them. And I'm very excited to see the reaction. <laughs> I hope it's good. But we are heading over to lunch. And then right after, we're going to dress shop for my mom for her dress for the wedding day. Yes. And that is super exciting. Say yes to this dress. Yes. I'm gonna find one. <laughs> I know. I'm very excited. I don't even know like what you're looking for I don't or like either. color or anything. So. I either, so we have a lot to do. And this probably won't just be like a one day shopping thing. I assume we're gonna do some looking today and have to do some more tomorrow maybe tomorrow yes. but hopefully this weekend we can find a dress because i definitely want to be home with her to shop mm -hmm. and we don't have any more weekends to do something like that uh, when i mean kind of but like if you have to get it altered i'm assuming we're gonna have to get it altered you think so probably there's never a dress that like there is for me what the hell's that mean? <laughs> You might have to get a hem. You, you, like, it's not like a wedding dress, like where know, it's like comes so big and then you gotta get it. I'm know. not saying that, but like honestly, like when do you buy clothes that fit you like a glove? Like any clothing article, like jeans usually like, you usually don't get them fitted, but 
yeah. there's usually something that can be taken in or like hemmed or something yeah and for a dress like that you're gonna want to get that fixed if it's taking a, a few inches off or taking in the waist a little so you have to like I know I know that when you're looking at the dresses that if it's not perfect yeah. and you can bring it in a little like we can get that done and it's pretty affordable to get that done so yes that is something we have to keep in mind you can't be so nitpicky and be like it doesn't fit perfectly because it can fit perfectly right yeah so that is one thing I also want to do some shopping for me when we're there and I want to look for some jeans and mom just, jeans yeah she calls them mom <laughs> jeans they're just like a baggier jean that's kind of like in style now yes they're mom um, jeans they're not mom jeans they're just <laughs> jeans <laughs> that are a little bit like not tight jeans like I don't want tighter jeans I guess but um I'm looking like Nordstrom and Zara and Abercrombie I really love Abercrombie jeans but most of them that I've seen are like a tighter jean like the one I'm wearing um so cozy jeans not necessarily cozy like I want like a rigid denim like I don't want like a soft denim I want a real yeah. denim jean oh, it's shaky. I know it's very shaky mom and I just got to the restaurant we got here a little bit before dad and Ryan and I'm gonna try to film Ryan walking in and surprising Mimi and pop up so hopefully I can get a good little video of that I really wish my mom did that yesterday for, for my dad and I because we were both standing there like for like 40 seconds before we like realized what the hell was happening I could not register what in the world was going on so gonna do that today for Mimi and pop up I knew he was coming home. Oh, Ryan! Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, you you made your friend of his day. Oh, I knew he was coming home. <laughs> they they <laughs> said he. I got a little cappuccino and it is so cute. So excited. And this thing came got tiny this little so big, right? <laughs> We got the cookies and cream, s'mores. Belgium chocolate something and <laughs> the She's peanut butter and chocolate one. Just finished lunch with my grandparents and now we're heading into the mall to find mama a dress. I'm excited. Here's the first dress. Oh, it's so pretty. It's it cute. cute. I like it. Okay, here's the second dress. It's a little bit of a darker purple. Here's the third dress. This one is nice. It's a little bit more Mother of the Bride-esque. Okay, so we just finished in Macy's. There was a few nice dresses that she tried on, but nothing great. And we don't want to like buy anything too soon and just like regret it. So we're going to keep looking. And I think we're going to just go to a dress store down the street actually, because I feel like we'll just make out better there. Okay, so we struck out at the mall. Completely. I didn't find anything for myself either. Honestly, I kind of just like was ready to leave. <laughs> so we stopped at this dress store called Rena L. Um, it was just on our way home, so I decided to stop and see what they have. Not awful. We possibly found a dress. Not 100% sure yet. But we are going to shop a little bit more tomorrow. I'm just like way too exhausted right now. I want to go home and lay down and shop a little bit more tomorrow. And possibly pick this dress. Possibly. It's so hard. I don't know. It's hard because a lot of the dresses, they had so many. But then they didn't have like all the sizes in all them. And yeah. you kind of had to envision what color you would want it in because I know that's so hard Sarah I know it was just they had one color and then they had swatches of all the others so it was like I like to see the color had on pick. me yeah because you, I don't know if that mauve would look like as good as the green would look you know yeah so it's kind or of the yellow or even. definitely difficult you have to have no, a good vision vision a good skill of it just envisioning but and difficult so we're gonna go home <laughs> and relax okay so we had been watching squid game for past few hours we've been just relaxing hanging out but now we're heading to pj's for dinner so i just have on my black crew neck from walmart and then my abercrombie jeans um very casual and just relaxed <laughs>
no one likes being in the vlogs. It's not cool. But happy Sunday. It is Ryan's last morning in Medford with the fam. So we are going to, what are we doing? Getting donuts you want, Ryan? We're gonna go to the farm and get apple cider donuts as a little treat for him. They're so freaking amazing. And they're only, I think they're only out in the fall. So yeah, another rainy day here and it is perfect shopping weather. So I think we're going dress shopping and get with my mom a little after Ryan leaves, but he should be going, heading back to school in like two hours, I think. So we don't have much time. I'm gonna go grab our donuts and coffee and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, this um, little market has so many homemade like pastries and cakes and pies. How cute. This is apple pie. This is so country farmish. <laughs> it is so country farmish. But it is a country farm. But we're kind of sitting in a parking lot, I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's what I mean, like you fly out and you fly out. <laughs> I want this bench. Look how cool that is. How much are you? You would need a pretty big space. Wait, what is this? Is twenty dollars? No, wait. What am I looking at? Maybe just for the. Oh, just for the pedestal the, the, things. The frame, yeah. Like yeah, and then how much is the tabletop? Twenty, and then. That is the coolest thing, like to put behind a couch or like. 80 bucks for a shutter. That's actually pretty affordable. Wow. 100. 125. Wow. Does it come like this? So cool. We stopped at these little shops and like everyone can rent out a little space in this building and sell their stuff, but. We found such cool things. There's like really cool antiques here and I'm loving it. And there's also like glass figurines and like little knickknacks, but it's such a cool little thing. Like I love this. So there's all these little like areas where people can sell their, their things. So it's a bunch of different vendors and it's really cool. I really like it here. So we just left the little shops and I was very tempted to buy that table that I showed you guys, like the vintage old bench table, but I have no house for it, <laughs> no space for it. I have no way to get it home, so didn't do it, but I was really tempted. It was only $125 for like the slab and the feet of it. So like the whole table, but obviously it's not like one piece, but I wanted it so badly. Ryan just left to go back to college and mom and I are going dress shopping for day two. I'm literally like so casual today wearing like a pizza shop sweatshirt and just yoga pants. It's been raining and like gross out all day. So I put on a tiny bit of makeup, hair up in the pony. I still haven't washed it from when I got it done on Friday. So it's starting to get a little bit greasy. So I just threw it up. Mom found a dress yesterday that she really likes. And we may go back to that shop since we'll be like right in the same area if she doesn't find anything at David's Bridal where we're just gonna go run in first and check out. So we just got to David's Bridal. Hopefully we don't need an appointment because we don't have one. Um, but we will see what happens. And if not, we might have to resort back to the place we were at yesterday. Okay, here's dress number one. I like this one. Here's the next dress. Mom, you want to show them? I like it's it a lot. zero, though. It, I mean, it looks good. You'd need to size up a little, but I really love these shoes. They're so pretty. We just got out of David's Bridal, and I thought Mom tried on a few pretty dresses. She wasn't a fan. She's very particular. <laughs> I think that's the right word. Because every single dress she tried on, she all she said was, I don't know. <laughs> And I was like, oh, you're gonna drive me up a freaking wall. Like, it was driving me berserk. I was like, I'm done with this. I um, wasn't in love with any of them. And that's fine. I don't but, like, know if I then liked say them. that. Don't just say, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what I'm looking for. It's so hard. It's definitely not easy. 
I mean, it's not like picking out a wedding dress. That was hard. Yeah, that's worse. I'm glad I never ended that. But, um, yeah, so we're going to go back to the place we were at yesterday and I guess check those out again. I might have found a pair of shoes in there for the wedding. They had some cute little shoes and like accessories and stuff. So I might be back and picking up some shoes. I don't know. But someone said yes to the dress when we were in there and they were ringing bells and they were going crazy. <laughs> like it was a big to do and I never had that, <laughs> which is fine. Like it was just like what a weird, it was like weird. Like the whole store was going crazy, but it was really cool. Um, so we're going to head pick up my dad. We dropped him off at the mall because he didn't want to do the dress shopping. <laughs> and now we're going to go pick him up because I think either you want him to see the next dresses because we're going to either decide or like show him like the final few from yesterday or we're just done shopping. I'm not really sure what you want. Yeah. But we're going to go pick him up and then go from there. So we just finished at the shop and mom actually bought a dress. I did. So we are done with that <laughs> we actually just bought the one that was like in the store instead of ordering it because it was like her perfect size and we got a little discount for just taking it off the rack very happy done with that yeah it was success uh, yeah mom took forever trying that dress on oh, i didn't know i didn't know oh my god she's in the dress for so long good morning dad and i are going to grab coffee before we start our day it's the only time i really drink coffee is when i'm home to be honest but Going to get coffee and then we're gonna do some shopping. It's another dreary day, so we're gonna just like do a little shopping around town. And then I head back to Virginia tonight. Mm -hmm. I wanna do the lottery. She hasn't won yet though. Cause look, you she's don't know. really down yeah. Oh, her car sounds holy crap. <laughs> okay, just got my salted caramel latte again from Wawa. It's the only place we go for coffee when I'm home. <laughs> we just got lottery tickets because that lady next to us was doing them. So we got a five dollar, a three dollar and one dollar so let's start small let's start small fred let's do a lucky penny heads up penny <laughs> okay wins at over one dollar win the prize in the box forty dollars is the prize if we can get up over a dollar five cents fifty cents five cents sixty cents twenty five <laughs> ten ninety five one cent. I always do that. Such a jip. Coffee sip. A whole bunch of nothing. Another loser. Okay, so it just took us about 20 minutes to scratch that ticket and we didn't win anything. I find that hard to believe. That's crazy. There's nothing diagonally. Mm -mm. Oh my god, we just wasted nine dollars. No four corners. Oh well. <laughs> I guess that's an oh well, but I got freaking dust all over my crap. <laughs> uh, that, was, that took so long, that bingo one. Usually you win something, like even just like the price of your ticket back. But no. Nope. I'm mad. Hi, Bentley. Your Halloween costume is so cute. Let me see it. Come here, Benny. Come here. Come here. Bentley. <laughs> you don't want to move now. Come here. Oh, look how cute that Halloween costume is. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. We are heading to do some shopping. I think we're going to do like Target, Trader Joe's, just a few like little errands around town. So that is the plan for the rest of the day. And I think I'm going to be probably heading home soon after that. I'll probably stop by my grandparents one more time and then head back to Virginia. I wanted to chat because over the weekend was my one year on YouTube and it's just so crazy to like think back to the beginning and how like nervous I was talking to the camera and talking to you guys and just honestly how much everything has changed in the past year. There's now almost 500 of you subscribed and I'm just so grateful. I'm so happy and thankful for all of you. It's just been really crazy and I've been wanting to do this since I was in high school, like literally 10 years ago. And I always just talked myself out of it. And I finally just decided to do it. And I'm so happy I did. Again, I'm so thankful and grateful and everything to each one of you. Um, but I just want to also say that if you guys ever wanted to try to start this um, or start any sort of like content creation, no matter what the platform is, I encourage you guys just to at least try it. 
I know it's kind of a scary thing to think about and like you're not sure if people would like the content or if people would like make fun of you because that's something I was always scared of um, and a lot of people still don't even know that I do this but I just love doing it and honestly it makes me really happy I, I obviously don't make any money off of it um, and I just love making these videos and talking to you guys and just being able to chat with any of you like I get a few comments on my videos and it makes me so happy to be able to talk and chat with you guys so I really appreciate each and every one of you um, but again if you guys want to try to start content creation in any single way I encourage it I'm so happy I did it and now in 10 years even if nothing does happen with it I'll never regret it or look back and say wow I wish I did it um, because I did and we'll see what happens with it it'd be awesome if I could make money off of it and make it a job but for now obviously it's just a fun hobby and I really really love making videos and chatting with you guys and all of the stuff that comes with it so I'm I'm very happy that I started it so again thank you it's been a year and we have just around 500 of you guys here so if you're not already subscribed make sure you do subscribe and like this video it really helps me out and I would love for one day to have a bunch of you guys here and to be able to chat with you guys and all that kind of stuff because I really do love it so I can't wait to see where we are this time next year because the growth has been coming so much faster now that we're a little bit further into it and I just can't wait to see where we are next year so yeah again thank you I love you all um but yeah so we are heading to do some shopping now and we'll see you there parents are back there loading the car but I want to show you what I got from Target first thing I got was for Frankie and it's this really really cute candy corn bandana it just kind of slips over his collar whoa so I picked that up for him it actually is like kind of filled with little fluff but I got that I picked up a pair of purple joggers they were on sale for 20% off so they came out to 16 bucks I got a size large but I'm not even kidding like run to your target and get these they're so comfortable and they were only $16 the next thing I got is this little oh. bralette tank toppy Thing in a size small but it's really nice just to like layer with stuff going into the fall and then the last two things I got are these little ceramic pumpkins from like the dollar section they were both three bucks but they were so cute and really cheap so I picked them up for my house and that's all I got from Target my mom got the same sweatpants that I got <laughs> copies me every single time I buy anything so that was my little Target haul. Love Target. They really get me good. Okay, now to lunch. I'm stopped. Just got to my grandparents' house. And we brought the doggy with his little Halloween costume on. But we're just gonna say, I'm just saying bye before I leave. Um, and then I'm gonna head back to Virginia. <laughs> see, he looks like a skeleton. You see how he looks like a skeleton? <laughs> Hello. Let me see your outfit. Okay, so we spent some time with my grandparents. I packed up and I am heading back to Virginia now. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Make sure you're subscribed and stick around. I do a ton of like vlogs and stuff like that. So make sure you're sticking around and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.